All right, I was going to take a minute to show how my vision cones work using volumes. So we have a coordinate system inside of here. We can expose it real quick by going to shader mode. Right now we have a principled volume node, we'll get rid of that. We do input geometry and drag from position to volume and then turn on the shaders. And you can see the colors here. That's our coordinate system. R, G, and B are X, Y, and Z in this instance. So we can split this and there's the X coordinate, Y coordinate, Z coordinate. So if it's less than zero it's not filled in. If it's over one it's filled in or over zero. So we can pull gradients out of this pretty easy like this. So now we have just a very gradual transition. You can do exponential stuff and all that, but we're not going to mess with that right now. What we're going to do is do if it's greater than zero. So now it's full. And then we take the absolute of x. And the absolute of y. And we subtract them from z or rather we subtract z from them. And then we need this to be less than zero. We'll go ahead and slap a absolute on here too. Alright, so I need to duplicate this. And then this. Multiply these two together. So we end up with a cone, but it heads in both directions. So we could take this. Oops. And multiply it by this guy. And now we have a cone that extends infinitely in this direction. And we could taper the cone itself by multiplying these guys. say two. So there's a skinnier cone, four or five, even skinnier cone, and that cone extends infinitely in space. So say we wanted it to not extend infinitely in space. We can take a texture of a gradient, spherical, and then multiply this by it. And you'll notice that it just kind of disappeared. We need to change the scale of this real quick. So now we have a cone that gradually fades the further out it gets. So if we grab this and move it, you can see it's not moving. We can do vector math, input, object info, subtract. Now if I move this, it moves with it. But if I rotate it, it does not. So we can do add vector, vector transform. 
pop that there. Now you can rotate it, and it rotates the bound. And then another trick is we could turn volumetrics to 2 pixel. And it's very fine now instead of rough. So there you go, cone with fall off, volumetric.